of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, very warm welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. I'm offering this Mass for each one of your intentions. So I invite you to bring to mind what would you like to offer this Mass for. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I've greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, Mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Lavanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Agrippa the king and Bernice arrived at Caesarea and greeted Festus. And as they stayed there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, There is a man left prisoner by Felix. And when I was at Jerusalem, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews laid out their case against him, asking for a sentence of condemnation against him. I answered them, 
that it was not the custom of the Romans to give up anyone before the accused met the accusers face to face and had the opportunity to make his defense concerning the charge laid against him. So when they came together here, I made no delay, but on the next day took my seat on the tribunal and ordered the man to be brought. When the accusers stood up, they brought no charge in his case of such evils as I supposed. Rather, they had certain points of dispute with him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus who was dead but whom Paul asserted to be alive. Being at a loss of how to investigate these questions, I asked whether he wanted to go to Jerusalem and be tried there regarding them. But when Paul had appealed to be kept in custody for the decision of the emperor, I ordered him to be held until I could take him to Caesar. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response for the psalm will be, The Lord has fixed his throne in heaven. Please repeat. The Lord has fixed his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. Response. The Lord has fixed his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong his mercy for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far from us does he remove our transgressions. Response, the Lord has fixed his throne in heaven. The Lord has fixed his throne in heaven and his kingdom is ruling over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling his word. Response, the Lord has fixed his throne in heaven. Kindly rise for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Ten my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go. This he said to show by what kind of death he was going to glorify God. And after saying this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the memorial of the martyr Saint Charles Lavanga and his companions. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and readily faced death by being burnt alive by the then king of Uganda in the 18th century. Not all of us are going to be called to be martyrs. Not all of us are going to be called to bear the supreme witness to the truth of faith. Jesus does call us to the heights of perfection, but he also meets us where we are in our walk of faith. And he can use us powerfully, even with our little faith, to build his kingdom. In the first reading from the book of Acts, Paul, a man filled with the Holy Spirit, faced persecution from his very own people, the chief priests and the elders of the Jews. They had brought false charges to the Romans, who believed Paul to be innocent of any wrongdoing. In our own walk in faith, 
we will face obstacles sometimes from our very own people but this should not stop us from allowing the lord to use us to build his kingdom in the gospel after jesus after the disciples had finished breakfast which jesus had prepared for them on charcoal fire jesus said to simon peter simon son of john do you love me more than these others do the only other time john's gospel mentions that peter was standing next to a charcoal fire was when he denied jesus peter denied jesus three times thereby rejecting jesus and his own status as a disciple and so jesus did not refer to him as peter but as simon son of john the name he had before he became the disciple of jesus and the rock jesus was giving peter a chance to undo the wrong by expressing his love and devotion three times jesus asked peter do you love me in the translation into english we lose out on the deeper meaning between this exchange between jesus and peter in the first two questions jesus had asked peter whether he loved him with a self sacrificing love but in the third question he asked peter whether he loved him merely with brotherly love which was the word that peter had used for all three of his responses jesus was calling peter to a higher form of love but peter was not yet ready to commit to that kind of self sacrificing love and so jesus came down to peter's level and accepted merely brotherly love jesus mercy for peter was so complete that he did not hold any of his sins against him and instead honored him and gave him the responsibility of serving his church as a chief shepherd when he said ten feed my lambs ten my sheep feed my sheep no matter how serious the sin you have committed no matter how many times you may have sinned the love and mercy of jesus is infinitely more and he seeks you and invites you to return to him peter would go on to demonstrate that self sacrificing love would grow in spiritual maturity we see this in the book of acts where peter boldly witnessed and preached before the very same council that had condemned jesus to death let on peter would be martyred by crucifixion in 67 ad in rome peter chose to be crucified upside down saying he was not worthy to die as christ died like peter jesus calls us to the heights of perfection but he also meets us where we are in our walk of faith and he can use us powerfully even with our weak faith to build his kingdom i invite you to make this your prayer Lord Jesus you know i love you you also know how weak i am and how often i reject you by sinning please forgive me please fill me with your holy spirit and use me as a powerful instrument to build your kingdom amen Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be God forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be God forever
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honours yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trials steadfast in faith and in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. To follow the Lord and find freedom To love as He loved and bring peace To spend all our life for His kingdom To want it to grow and increase To search for the truth never seen Peace.